So what do we mean by utilisation? To use an analogy of poor utilisation, it's a bit like organising and planning a five course dinner and forgetting to inv invite the guests. What a waste. So for those farmers that have dual purpose crops and fodder crops in the ground, they've done all the hard work keeping their cropping fallow clean over the summer months. They've spent the money on fertiliser and seed to get that dual purpose or fodder crop out of the ground. Now it's all about how well they utilise that crop particularly for those that have got crops already established before the last rain. Growth rates will be upwards of 40 kilos per hectare per day. Therefore, it's important to do a fodder budget now to make sure that you've got enough mouths to chew that crop down. Most of our soil moisture probes are showing the 10 centimetre temperature hovering just below the 20 degree mark. So good soil moisture temperature and 10 to 11 hours of sunshine will ensure that early fodder crops will be highly productive over the next four to six weeks. There are some influences on wasted percentage in your fodder crops that you should consider when you're doing your feed budget. Narrow row spacing, crop height, stocking rate, and wet conditions can all impact on utilization in fodder crops. It is important to review the wasted percentage in your fodder budget at the time of grazing. The major influence on pasture utilisation in paddocks these days is actually water security. So when we're talking about your water security, we're talking about the time it takes for those dams to recharge and refill. So it's because farmers are actually doing a much better job at keeping their ground cover. Therefore, we're not getting the same amount of lateral flows filling these dams which is actually reducing the amount of utilisation we can get out of these paddocks because they don't have the water. So farmers that rely on these dams that aren't spring fed have to get out in their paddocks and assess what water capacity they have right now because that will determine how much water and what stocking rate they can have over those warmer months. So the strategy might be to graze some of those paddocks in the cooler months when the livestock don't have the same demands on water. So apart from regularly desilting some of these dams to increase storage capacity, there could be some other ways of actually increasing the water security in these dams that aren't filling as often. Some farmers have iron bark ridges, for example, where the water flows quite freely after only small amounts of rain. So utilising these small dams in the upper catchment, you can actually drain these dams with a gravity flow into a larger storage capacity dam more regularly. And that's how you can catch more water into those large storage dams.